Welcome to Luke Jones the other way from Petushki in the Vladimir region. It's famous for one reason, and that's for a poem written in the early 70s by a guy called Venedik Yerafiev about a drunkard who missed his stop uh, and ended up uh, in a rather bad way. But that's not the reason we're here. We're here for something much more exciting. Follow me. Hello. Welcome to our farm, which we built 15 years ago. It was the first so-called modern farm in Russia, so we were pioneers. It was built originally for 1,040 milking cows, but now we have space for 1,900 milking cows. We have uh, today an average milk yield of 35 litres a cow and uh, 55 tonnes a day of milk. We farm on 4,000 hectares of land. There's 100 people working here. Our milk is first-grade European. We've been doing this for 15 years now, and our youngest son, Timothy, I hope in three years, will take over. Welcome to Rosdiest Ball. The land that this farm is located on used to be an old collective farm during the Soviet Union. They called it a kolkhoz, or a sovkhoz. Not quite sure what the difference is, but it was essentially the same thing. It was massive scale farming, owned and controlled by the state, so not surprisingly it was hugely inefficient. They nearly all collapsed at the uh, end of the Soviet Union. But as a result of John's operation here, all the cleanup they've done, they've found a whole bunch of old style instruments from what they used to call farming in those days. Just look at them there behind us, but instead of chucking them away, they've actually kept them and put them on the wall. Now it's not all about a farm. There's a lot more other stuff going on. There's a sauna here, and John's even built a church for the village. There didn't even used to be one. And what I love about Orthodox churches is they can be built a few years ago and they still look like they're from the 17th century. Look at that. to know where your milk and burgers come from, look no further. Hello. So where are we John? We're in uh, well, with the young calf area. They come here after being born in the maternity shed. In winter, uh, when it's this kind of temperature, they're about three days on a, on a heated floor under a red uh, infrared lamp. And then as soon as they're dry and they can stand, they come out here. And they stay here then for 45 days. But they don't get cold here? They're animals. They can live. They're animals. They're, they're just what they know. They live like they used to. This time they need more protein to build up bones. Then we put energy into them. So, step by step, let's go further, shall we? Yeah, let's go and have a look. thinks of the guy the one that cow there with his head is got stuck but they can pull their head back in of course they can <laughs> that's to stop them fighting for the food for each place is a feed place and it wouldn't be a farm in Russia unless you had a Baba Yiga travel as extensively as I do, it takes a lot to impress you, but I have to say, this I wasn't expecting. Right? I knew we were coming out to visit John's farm, I thought, okay, fantastic, it's going to be great, it's going to be like a farm with a little hotel and maybe a tiny restaurant, but this is unbelievable, okay? The size of it, the scale of it, what he's achieved here from essentially nothing is just incredible. So we're here to show you around. Here's the uh, slightly more uh, nostalgic part. Well, 
Well, it's been a fantastic weekend away here on the farm. It's not too far from Moscow. Jump on the train to Pitushki, short cab ride, and here you are in the western side of the Vladimir region. If you've never left Moscow or St. Petersburg or anywhere else, and you want to get a taste of the countryside, but you still want some comfort, this is the place to be. John, you've done a fantastic job here, and I see that it's still ongoing. It's only going to get bigger and better. So uh, looking forward to coming back, maybe when it's a little bit warmer, Warmer, but it runs 12 months of the year here so uh, come on over and uh, thank you very much Luke Jones the other way keep with us mm -hmm.